Hey, good morning. For today's prayer, I want to um, read a psalm to you and let the psalm be our prayer for the morning. After I finish reading it, I'm going to give you four or five different ways that you can pray this psalm at home. Okay, let's begin. I'm reading uh, from the 63rd Psalm. Let us pray. O God, You are my God. I seek You. My soul thirsts for You. My flesh faints for You, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My soul is satisfied as with a rich feast, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips when I think of you on my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. So now let me give you a few ways in which to meditate and pray this psalm at home. First thing you can do is uh, read out loud. And um, you can see where your voice tends to rise and where it tends to fall. Where do you think uh, emphasis is needed? Where do you want to pause or read quickly? Where does it make sense to run across lines and not read it and with a pause at the end of every, uh, every line? Just read it aloud and see how that speaks to you differently. Okay, the second thing you can do is to underline verbs. So, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you, but you could you could go up here and say, all right, uh, seek, that's a verb, um, thirsts, that's a verb, um, faints, that's a verb, and just go through, underline the verbs. Do they, do the, the verbs are action words, and do they have anything in common? Um, do the action words oppose one another? Um, ask yourself, who is doing the acting and what are the impacts of that action? Okay, uh, the next thing you can do is uh, look for repetition. Whoops. So just go through and see all the words that repeat. So an easy one to do here is I'll just go through and circle all the instances of God. Hmm, there are only two. That's interesting. There aren't a whole lot of words that uh, that repeat, so that's interesting all by itself. Anyway, that's something you can do with any psalm, is look for words uh, that repeat. The next thing you can do is look for transitions. Uh, go in and note words that uh, signal a transition like so or because and ask yourself um, where is the pivot? Is there something that's changing here? Does this uh, indicate um, options that are available uh, to the psalmist? Does this indicate a transformation that is taking place? Um, does it signal uh, a switch uh, from despair to hope. Um, so just look for the transitions. So once you've uh, done those grammatical types of things, you can begin to zoom out a, lo a little bit and look for um, the imagery. Are there um, images of light and dark? That's always a good one to look for first. 
And I'll give you a clue with this psalm. There's some imagery about thirst and being satisfied. So just look for the imagery and maybe circle big blocks where that imagery is used and see where that leads your imagination. Finally, one thing you can do as uh, you've studied the psalm is look for scenes. Oftentimes the, the psalmist likes to paint a picture. So, um, you know, this whole thing, uh, a dry and weary land where there is no water, that's a scene. So experience that scene in your mind. Or this is another good one down here. Um, when I think of you on my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. Have you ever been up at night, lying in bed, awake? Um, play out that scene in your mind's eye and um, experience that scene with your senses. What do you see? Um, what do you feel? What do you taste? What do you touch? Um, just uh, put yourself in that scene and see where it leads you. So thanks for praying with me today. I hope that this will give you some tools to pray the Psalms uh, at home anytime and in any way. Uh, but thanks for praying the 63rd Psalm with me for this week's prayer. Take good care.